what's up here at the graveyard walking back from tennis and it's March 17th it's my late father's birthday so I guess this feels a little extra relevant as well as the fact that everybody's texting me as they tend to some people text me more or less every year on this day or on the day that he died but uh, it's an interesting reminder of course of the brief time we have on earth I mean my dad only lived to be 42 years old I'm already 32 so you know I've already lived about 75% of my life if I if I happen to make it to the same age that he did and yeah I have to walk by this graveyard to and from tennis every single day and uh, I don't know I'm not I don't think I'm overly sentimental but there is something about the way that I played tonight that kind of hit home that this is something I really need to do, something I really, I really have to do. It's part of, I feel, like, I feel required in a good way to pursue what might on the surface seem like a, to a lot of people like a really ridiculous goal or something they don't understand or care about. But I guess that's really not the purpose of your own goals and dreams is for other people to understand them. I, I, don't, I don't feel equipped to speak on what the actual purpose of them is necessarily. I'll, maybe I'll get back to you on that. But... I mean, even I, I lost tonight 6 1 7 5 to the sixth ranked player in, in the ladder. And honestly, but I honestly feel really good about the way I played because even compared to a week ago, seriously, compared to one week ago, or even especially compared to two or three weeks ago, I played way better. I mean, there was no reason I couldn't have beaten the guy that I played tonight. I had a few moments in the second set that, I mean, I easily could have turned it around, won the game, um, and sometimes it's not your night. And I just feel like I, super, I completely outperformed where I even should be right now, and I feel great about it. So, and there's the, by the way, there's the moon, which um, was full the night my father died, tragically at 42 years old and leaving five children and uh, his wife and all that stuff. But um, so it always, you know, the, the full moon always kind of makes us all think about, um, about that. So. I don't know, there was something that just really struck me and, and it brings something out of me to compete. To I mean, I fucking love competing and I, I love putting myself in that situation and it's just such a, it's such a beautiful and underappreciated gift, just, um, just like life. So anyway, I wanna make this video and I, because I wanna kind of capture this moment, this feeling and you know, I've been hesitating, I've been hesitating actually uploading anything. I've been hesitating actually taking steps toward becoming a professional tennis player and more important, I've actually, I've been going after the professional tennis player thing. I just haven't been taking steps towards documenting it, putting it online, sharing it with other people. And the, the reason I wanna do that is to inspire other people so that they can go after things that seem just a little too crazy, a little out of reach, that are high stakes for them that put them on the spot, that challenge them, that demand something of them, and that they might feel like, wow, I didn't have X, Y, Z, I didn't have the upbringing, I didn't have the coach, I didn't have the teacher, I didn't have the money, I didn't have the whatever, and I'm too old and it's too late, and I don't want, you know, I can't be a DJ at 35, or I can't become a doctor, or whatever the hell it is. So I have to. So anyway, um, hopefully the audio is okay on this, and you know, this is, it's, uh, it's going to be a work in progress. So I, it's, that's just like my tennis game. See, this is the thing. It's something that struck me that it's just, I'm not even upset about losing. Of course I am on some level, but I'm not, I'm just like riding this wave of acceptance with where I am right now, even though it feels like I'm way behind and I can't imagine, you know, being any further behind or being any older or being any slower or being any fatter or, uh, anything like that and just like I can't imagine being any worse at YouTube or being any worse at recording these videos or having the quality be any shittier but the point is you know I gotta do it so for myself for other, for everybody for other people for my family and so I'm capturing this moment in time and um, you know happy birthday to my father and oh heavenly father and uh, you know I this has been Ryan Dent, Ryan Charles Dent, AKA RCD one of one. And I crank the content, you smash the like button, and I will see you in the next one.